Welcome to this edition of OpenSCAD. In this episode, we're going to be taking a quick look at building a vacuum base for our dust collection unit. So what we have is a five gallon bucket that we're going to use for our cyclone dust collector. And what we want to do is build the base for it. Um, and on that base, we're going to attach some TPU feed for vibration dampening. And so one of the things that uh, you know, we could have done is drawn this up in like Inkscape or a number of other uh, programs. However, one of the things I, I did want to show again um, is how how we can use OpenSCAD for also CNC projects as well as 3D projects. So OpenSCAD works just as good for CNC, laser cutting, and 3D printing. So it is a very versatile application. And the second thing is, is I find myself every once and again needing to build these bases for different projects. So it's, it's sort of a universal concept where you have sort of a centralized structure which is a circle and then you have several feet protruding from it so one of the things that I did want to do in this though too is, is a lot of times when we're working around the wood shop and that we're dealing with inches versus millimeters but you know and it's the open SCADs native language is, is millimeters so one of the things that I wanted to do was show how we can build in conversion into open SCAD pretty simply so one of the first things that we do is we simply specify uh, a conversion factor that we want to convert to. So long story short, we have this variable here, inch convert equals 24.5. So what this means is that there are 24.5 millimeters in an inch. So when we specify our inch, our measurement up here to our module, we're going to specify in inches. So long story short, the centralized base that you see here will be six inches in diameter, while the feet uh, extended feet or the, the diameter of the extended feet over here um, that we see here is going to be two inches and then we're going to have extension feet that are going to scale now the other thing we're going to do is we're going to put indexing holes uh, in here because what we're going to do is we're going to do some peck drilling um, uh, with the CNC to index the holes so we know where to mount our feet. So it, it's pretty basic in concept and what we what we do is we take our base size and simply multiply it by our conversion factor here that we have here for example and then our result is going to be our diameter in millimeters and so it's pretty pretty simple concept. Uh, not hard, but I don't think a lot of people really think about this, especially if you want to work in, in different dimensions or if you want to, uh, in Thingiverse, create a customizer where you're working in inches rather than millimeters. Uh, again, this is a way to do it, but you know, please, if you do it in customizer too, note in the, the description that you're going to be working in inches rather than millimeters. And, and again, this is I find this handy for when I'm working in the wood shop um, on, on wood projects because again I tend to in word projects think in inches because you know if I'm building a cabinet or something I'm thinking of feet inches etc so I wanted to work that so I thought it'd be interesting to share the other piece that I wanted to share um, is some of the scaling uh, so one of the things that I also did here in this section is created the feet. Now I'm not going to go in heavy detail and, and the code will be on the website uh, openscad.diy3dtech.com and you can go and take a look, download the code, copy and paste it out of, out of the website. Um, there's uh, kind of like a Git repository there and, and take a look at this. But what happens is this allows uh, the scaling of these feet based upon the um, size of the base because really what you have is a bit of a, a bit of a conundrum here because if you you have the center base here so you have a circle and let's take a look at the various pieces real quick and so if I look at the the main circle itself and we just put the percent sign and so we see our main circle and now see how these feet come together now let's take a look at the first um, circle if you will so we're going to do another percent and so you see the circle you, you see the foot circle here up at the top then you see the main circle here which is the base and then you see these connecting feet which are really squares and what we're doing is we're scaling the um, 
the width of the 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 square by the circle so you can see it's it's translating and placing it halfway through so this is how you get this effect over here where it looks like a tab and then what happens is we extend it back but we don't overlap them so we bring them in to the main circle so it becomes part of it with the union so again this is a, a very handy piece now let's go back and if we say if we upscale oh, let's downscale it um, to four inches first and so you see it, it downscales to four inches we maintain the two inches on our our feet and then we even get down to further now one of the things that um, and so you get a star shape now I haven't built in any error checking logic here so you can kind of get crazy past this and this is what you're going to get is no more than what your feet are uh, across and so but um, uh, if you wanted to you could add an error checking I didn't think it necessary for this and again you can scale it up if you want to do an 8 inch a circle uh, then 2 inch and then again you know you if you want to change this to a 4 inch circle again you can change this and you can see how this comes out and again so all this scale so this is again one of the big powers of, of open SCAD powers is that proper English uh, I guess so we'll go we'll roll with it so this this is one of the strong abilities of, of open SCAD is to create parametric models so now anytime I need a model like this whether it's bigger or smaller it doesn't matter all I simply do is pull up this file enter enter my numbers and boom I got a DXF coming out or I can extrude this and, and create a 3D object from it in, for 3D printing. So this is really what's great about OpenSCAD. So uh, anyways, uh, I think there's a couple other little nuggets that you can probably gain from this code, um, you know, if you want to parse through it. However, I think those are the big ones. I wanted to cover out, uh, again, the inch conversion. So you can work in inches or feet and then just convert internally inside your software to or program uh, to millimeters. Uh, also, the scaling of this uh, of the feet I think is another important point here is, is taking a look how this is done because this is reusable code so if you do build some other kind of structure that you want to scale up or down take a look at how I've done this because again this this is repeatable code now keep in mind that <clears throat> excuse me it's also being converted for units obviously obviously English to metric um, and so you wouldn't have to you know say input this this inch convert if you're uh, you know not converting from inches to millimeters and just use base diameter and again this will scale in and out and then also take a look up here uh, how I did the translate for the um, uh, how to extend the feed out again to scale the feed out uh, because you could also add more logic here if you want however I found this to be very helpful and again I just whipped this up probably code wise faster or at the same rate that I could really draw it so um, you know again it's kind of handy and, and the great thing is, is is I have it for reuse again in the future if I need it or modification because one of the things I think I'm going to add here well I've hard coded the feed at four so uh, again see where I have create uh, create feet I think what I'm going to do is add it programmatically to accept the parameter for the number of feet so if I wanted to go six or eight or twelve feet it would uh, make those feet for me in and add them in a circular fashion I think that'd be pretty cool and it'd probably, probably be a project we'll do in the future so anyways hopefully you found this interesting but let's take a look at how this actually worked out so I've got the material over on the CNC so let's cut over to the CNC let's take a look at it and cut it out and see what we end up with it so let's hop over to the CNC.
Okay, so we're back and we've cut this out of our board stock for the base. And so hopefully with this you get a little bit of an idea of how versatile OpenSCAD is. So we did the uh, design in OpenSCAD and uh, ran it through Cut 2D, printed it out or cut it out uh, on the CNC, and here we go. So anyways, if you found this interesting and you look forward to uh, more OpenSCAD videos, Hey, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, a lot more coming. Cheers.